Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Nile, and this is WNBA, the show where twice a week, usually on Mondays and Fridays, sometimes a day early, I cut, cut, I stand in front of this camera and I talk about some of the things that happened recently in the association and a few of the things I'm looking forward to in the upcoming days. This weekend, July 4th holiday, kind of a slow weekend. So on Friday you had two games. First of all, the Lynx showing complete domination, completely destroyed the Storm. And then Los Angeles, you know, Christy Tolliver, she set a new franchise record when she scored a career high 43 points, getting LA their second straight win. And then on Sunday, you had the Storm played a little bit better, but the Dream still, you know, in control basically the entire game, handed Seattle their second straight loss. And then LA versus the Phoenix Mercury. And the Mercury, they, Brittany Griner, she had a double-double. She also dunked for the first time this season. And they end up going into overtime where Leilani Mitchell hits a game-winning three-pointer to give Phoenix the win. But L.A., they still played well. They've been playing incredibly well for like the last two weeks. And, you know, they're starting to put some wins together. And they still don't have their best player back. You know, with Candace Parker, the two-time MVP, still sitting out. When she gets back, you know, they're going to climb right back into the playoffs, guaranteed. And so, now moving on to a few games to look forward to this week. First of all, all of these are going to be Eastern Standard Time. So, when if I say 8 o'clock, that means it's like 7 Central Time. Like if you live in like Texas or like North, North Dakota or something, then it'll be like 7. And then LA, it'll be like for 6 or 5, I think. So yeah, check your local listings, uh, see what time these games are on and what channel, if any, you can get them on. But as always, you can watch every single one of these games on WNBA Live Access. And so on Tuesday, you've got one game, Tulsa at Atlanta, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this game is going to be broadcast on ESPN2, Tulsa, unfortunately. They're on a bit of a slide since losing Skylar Diggins, and it's, I think their losing streak is going to stay active for at least a few more games. Atlanta's playing pretty well right now. Then you've got on Wednesday, you've got Seattle at Indiana. That one's actually going to be at 12 p.m. game, and it's going to be an afternoon contest. And then, and so Indiana, you know, they're, at the, they're near the bottom of the Eastern Conference, but the East is pretty packed tight right now. It's very competitive over there. And... Indiana has been playing very well lately. They've got a couple wins in a row together. Catchings has been just, ooh, she's gotten back to her old self. <laughs> and so they're going to be a tough contest. And then you've also got Los Angeles at San Antonio. L.A., they've pieced together a few wins, but one thing they still have yet to do this season is win a road game. So this will be a good contest to watch. And then on Thursday, you've got New York at Washington at 11 a.m. So that's going to be a really early game. And so, yeah, New York, they're on a bit of a hot streak right now. But Washington, they're not an easy team to beat, evidenced by the fact that New York has already lost to them twice this season. So, yeah, that'll be a fun contest to watch. And so that's it for this edition of WNBA Weekly. Tune in on Friday for another all new edition. And until then, uh, this has been the Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Nile. I hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had to get to do some barbecue on the 4th of July. You know, and hope you have a good week in the upcoming days.